Hey guys, first day playing here after COVID. Well, semi-COVID now. Um, so looking down there right now, you're gonna see, that's what I'm looking to paint. Right over there, <laughs> mind you, the glare off my head. Um, anyway, straight down there, and I just put a few paints on that palette. I'm gonna launch into this and mix these colors up real fast because that light's fading down here in Mount Monganui. Anyway, I'll mix the paints up, paints up real fast, and then I'll be into it. Hopefully I'll record some, show you how it all works. Hey guys, this is me doing the little, um, there's a little time lapse of the painting. Um, the whole thing took about, well, just under an hour, and I'm going to wrap it all up into about five minutes here, so I better talk fast sometimes. Um, okay, I'll start with the sky. Um, that's ultramarine blue, a little bit of phthalo blue, titanium white, and there's a little bit of or orange went in there. And I just get that paint on. I'm using mainly um, whole bristle flats here, and then I'm blending it out with the badger brush you see there, and putting those clouds on with a whole bristle fan number two. Okay, see, I use that masking tape too. That's quite handy. Anyway, what I've done here is I jump forward. I normally work from furthest away, work to the foreground, but I jump forward right into the foreground right here, right now, to try and capture the color of that sand and that light. Like I said, that was a bit a little bit different earlier on. And I wanted to try and capture that. And now you see me going back, working from furthest away into the foreground and doing the water there, the, the sea in the distance. I actually struggle doing water wet on wet. I far prefer to do wet water in the studio, wet over dry, but wet on wet, you know, I'm learning. I think you just got to put a brush stroke on and leave it alone. Like that. So as I was working from the, um, distant into the foreground now, it was actually really nice to work into that dry sand that I'd already laid down previously. So this is a little bit like how I work and how like being self, this is what the essence of being self-taught is making these little mistakes or doing something different than realizing, hey, I actually, um, I prefer this way. So, hey, then I'll log it in and I'll probably do that again. So put that dry sand down and then work that wet sand into that dry sand. Worked really well. Okay, now I'm just working on that sandy path. Um, I'm using, I use a lot of just synthetic flat brushes. So it's a synthetic flat, just a small brush because it's only really small painting. And now starting to work on that, um, the distant grasses actually. And I'll back on that number two whole bristle fan again. And um, the important thing is here's that contrast of darks and lights really. Um, this is nothing without those darks, and you sort of got to get those darks in, darkest darks up front. Okay, that's how you create depth in your painting is, you know, have your darkest darks up front, and then working the distant is lighter than it is in the foreground, obviously. Um, and the colors there, that's cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange, burnt umber, and ultramarine blue. That's what, that's what I'm using for those grasses. Um, you get a massive range of different colors there and also you can actually see the um, this color that I stained my canvas previously coming through there that's why I like that color it just works really well for me that sort of raw sienna sort of color ochre color when it comes through it looks really nice um, so now I just I just actually just you saw me wiping out where I'm going to put those posts in so I just wiped it out it's all wet paint so you can just wipe it out and then start putting those posts in Actually, sorry for the glare that's coming across this um, image as we get later on into the evening. Even though it was only an hour, everything changed and we got a little bit of glare on the painting. But anyway, gives you an idea of how I do it. So now I'm probably going to work back in, work a few more darks and just a little bit of finesse there in those grasses. Not a whole lot. Um, I did leave my favorite number two whole bristle fan brush at home. I took two with me and I realized I didn't have my favorite one. Um, my favorite one, just one that's almost worn out actually, just had a lot more use. So now you see me just making some extra dark and light changes to those grasses here and there, just sort of finishing them off in this real fast way. Okay, and then next, I think, yeah, now I'm starting on that pathway, and that's that synthetic flat brushes, very small ones, small painting. And now back into some more grasses having a crack with a pellet knife. You just got to give things a go sometimes when it's wet on wet. So I had to go with the pellet knife there. And now there was a white rope coming down in between those posts. So just putting that on there. 
And that's it. That's how I finished up. Um, hey, I'm going to do a few more of these. That was just one last night in a rush on the beach at Mount Maunganui. Um, cheers for watching. Okay, you're back in the studio now. Um, what do I say? Um, give myself a plug, like and subscribe. Um, if you like that video, I'll probably get better if you um, encourage me to make more. Um, there's the painting. Um, gave it a little bit of a tidy up this morning. It's still wet, but hey, I just tidied up a few little things there. And put some, the main thing was I put some dark on these posts here, actually. That was the main thing that I wanted to do. Anyway, thanks for that. Uh, I might go and do another one. Thank you.